quick assembly of the 5500 watt heating element adapter kit. You have your element adapter, you're gonna have your 5500 watt heating element, and your power cord. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver and the seven millimeter socket, and that's just to tighten the ground screw. You could also just use a wrench. All right, pretty simple. You don't need the plastic cap. Remove. And then the uh, adapter itself has a ferrule side, so you just unscrew this side from the adapter, and then unscrew the cord grip side from the element adapter. Next, you want to slide on the portion that has the inch and a half ferrule. That's simply going to slide over the heating element. Just a note, before you install it, make sure you have your gasket on your actual heating element. Uh, that's installed from the factory, but that's actually what makes the liquid tight seal. So if you do not have this gasket, get in touch with us, but they should all have a gasket. So just slide it on with the ferrule forward, and that's simply gonna screw on to the 5,500 watt element. Next step is you wanna take the sleeve, and you can see the ground screw is not centered. You wanna put the portion of the sleeve that has more space towards the element. So you just basically want it so you have the ground screw towards the back with less space. Um, so that's a, a pretty good visual there. And now we're gonna take our cord grip and unscrew it from the other cap for the sleeve. We're going to slide the cord grip over the power cord. And you wanna make sure you get all three of the cables. So you get your cord grip with the threads facing forwards. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide on the cap. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide on the sleeve. I like to install it so the shorter distance is from the ground screw to here. The shorter distance goes towards your cord grip. So we're gonna slide that over. And now we're gonna wire the element. So you're just gonna loosen your Phillips screws and attach the black and white wires. And it doesn't matter which goes where. At this point, you have your black and white wires connected. We're gonna take out the uh, ground screw. And there's simply a lock washer and a nut down below. So we're gonna take all that, put it off the side. And now we're gonna go ahead and screw on the sleeve. So now, you're gonna take your lock washer, your screw, and your nut. You're gonna put your nut in the hole and then simply put the, uh, the green ground wire onto the screw. Next comes the lock washer and last is the nut. And then it's a seven mil socket that we're using to tighten it. So you can tighten it by hand. I just like to give it a, just tighten it up a little bit with the socket. You don't have to go crazy on it, but just to, you know, just tighten it up so it's nice and snug. Here you can see we got our black, our white, and our ground connected. Next, slide up your cap. It just screws on. And then finally, you're gonna take your cord grip, screw that into the end cap. That'll make sure your wire is nice and tight. When you install your heating element into your kettle, just make sure the ground screw is facing down. You just don't want that up on the top where liquid could easily get spilled on it. So that's a simple overview on installing your heating element into the Clawhammer heating element adapter.